from this point forward, I need you to have an open mind. Okay? You've done this before, Leroy. Oh, yeah. Listen, the key to a third world title for JB is goat yoga. I'm telling you. Feel the goats. Feel the okay? goats. Do you want to go 90? Fill the goats. We're Got trying it. to get you back in the arena. Got it. Open okay? mind, fill the goats. Take a sip of water, deep breath, open mind, and get ready. Okay. All right? I like to have the gate just a little open. That way they feel like they're escaping. Go. Roll on. Yee, 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 yee. Come on, come on, come on, goats. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Okay. Get in. Now cool. shut the gate behind me. I'm gonna need some help. Oh yeah, his arm's messed up. He's only got one arm. Come on, Leroy, help him out. Don't worry. After yoga, you're gonna be able to shut this by yourself with that arm. Perfect. Goat yoga is just the first step of many that's gonna get this guy back on top. This is the start of a good relationship for he and I. We're like fat thighs. We stick together. JB, you're liable to be back on a bull by the end of the day. Huh, yes. Yeah. Okay, hurry up, JB. Set up your mats. Get yourself a quick drink of water. Goat yoga is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. Now stand at the foot of your mats. I'm gonna set the mood. Dale said it would help my bull riding, so I might as well try it. Now, please sit down. Indian style. At the foot of your mat. We're going to start by pals. Just pow, 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 OK? Close your eyes. Close your eyes, JB. Look, what I've always said is never be ashamed of who you are, unless you don't ride bulls. So until he gets back on top, then it, there's just no hope. Just fill the goats around you. Just feel the goats around you. Ah! Yep. Ah! Do you feel it? Hold your goat. Hold your goat. Hold your goat, Leroy! You've done this before. This is a real thing. Goat yoga. Google it, okay? JB? What? You want to go 90? I guess. I know it's random. Okay, the last time I did something spur of the moment, they marked me 90. If he will just open up his mind, I really think it will help. I'm a professional. We're gonna start okay. with your left side. Can you feel his heart beating? Oh yeah, and his hoof hit me. If he can do yoga with a goat breathing down his neck and find his inner peace, he can go 90 on a bull, regardless of what the doctor says. I'm trying to remember my yoga training, y'all. Doesn't seem like it's helping my bull riding or my shoulder. Don't worry, it will. All right, now cross your right leg over your left leg. Now swing your right leg way out wide, like this. Bring it in real nice and slow, like you're spurring a bull. Drag it up your left leg. Bring it out real wide like you're spurring a bull. Can you do that? Got it. Do you smell the goats? It's important that you smell the goats. I smell the goat piss. Is that the same thing? Yes. OK. Now we're going to do the goats. same thing with your left. Hey. Hey. Yeah. See? It's already working. You're almost stronger than the instructor. OK, now your free arms. Both arms are free. Your arms are part of a democracy. Free. Like Braveheart. Freedom. My right one's not so free. OK, roll over on your stomach. How's your arm feel there? It's good. Good, good. OK, I want you to close your eyes. Lay all the way down flat. Leroy, lay flat. Now just imagine yourself 
running your hand into the bull rope. You're heating up your bull rope. Yes, yes. Come on, Leroy, heat up your bull rope. This is just not working, man. Just see it through. I mean, we're face down here. Look, if you can't run through your, your shoe procedure face down in a goat pen, how are you going to do it in a bucking shoe with a real bucking bull? Why don't we roll over? OK. Will that make you more comfortable? Yes. OK, roll over. OK, now you're running your left hand into the bull rope. Nope, warm it up first. Warming up your bull rope. The flag girls are in the arena. They just ran out. So now run your left hand into the bull rope. Now grab your tail with your right hand. Now slide up on your rope. Big nod, and then he's right there into the latch, around to the left. Gates opening, really slow. You're almost there. You know what I see? What do you see? The back of my eyelids. You've got to admit this the goats. This is not working. You've got to admit the goats are helping. The horses like them. Do you want to do the downward dog? I think it'll help. Of course it'll help. I think you make a teepee out of your butt. That's perfect. How's your shoulder feel, JB? Great. Better, right? Better. This is way better than your physical therapy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, goat yoga's doing it. Golly. Forget acupuncture. I'm not even charging you for this. Really? Yeah, because we were friends. You did buy my lunch and everything, so. I'm not really sure if I'm going to give Dell a second chance or not. I think we're good for session one. He thinks he can help my bull riding, but I'm not so sure. I feel like this is working. I, I think it is working. <laughs> it's not working. You know, it's normal to get pushed back from a world champ like this, but I think it's going great for him. I feel like we grab these goats, and me and you and these goats start going to these bull ridings together. All right, I think it'll work. Can we leave the little one? Yeah, we'll leave the little one. He's, I don't like the little one. I don't like the little one. Yeah, we'll just take the other three. Okay. But, it, but it's working. Yeah, it's working. Good. Feels good. Good. Ugh. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap. Every morning, I head out to the mailbox to get the mail. Everybody knows the mailbox is a perfect place to kidnap somebody. <laughs> Pretty much the hot shot is my accomplice in this scenario. Come on, JV, get in the truck. Oh, he ain't going to argue with this big yellow hot shot I got. Get that pucker brake. Safety first. Flashers are on. Get in the truck! 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 Just one for good measure. One for good measure. Nothing to see here, folks. I hope you're hungry. We're going to breakfast. Parking brake. Parking brake. I know that. It's my truck. I got it. I got it. <sighs> Nothing like a good little kidnapping to start the day. <sighs> hey, spending time with JB means everything to me. Not really sure I like spending time with Dale Brisby. I love kidnapping people. Have you ever been kidnapped? This would be the first time. I feel like you're the kind of guy that's probably been kidnapped once or twice. No. Not sure kidnapping is a proper way to inspire me. Are you sure? You're the first. Huh. Well, you're welcome. Thanks. How's your shoulder? It's good. Is that the one that's hurting? No, it's the other one. Is that so if I hit this one? It's okay? It's good. Okay, go. Oh, okay. I kind of think my shoulder's ready to go. Uh, you been doing rehab? Yes. How much do you attribute your success at the World Finals to goat yoga? 2%. I only rode one bull. Yeah, but on that one bull, it helped a whole lot. Goat yoga didn't help me at all. I saw it, it was away from your hand, and you were like, oh, this feels good. 
I feel like I'm back with the goats. Thank you, Dale Brisby. Thank you, Dale Brisby. Were you not? No. Hey, what happens in Vegas stays in the mind of Dale Brisby. I'm trying to forget what happened in Vegas. I'm like a hard drive of memories here. You did good at World Finals. No. Yes, you did. You did good. Can, I mean, like, your freaking shoulder was blew out. How do you feel about World Finals? It sucked. How so? I rode one bull. Yeah, but you rode that one bull really good with no shoulder. You just gotta remind guys like JB of their past. Yeah, I was, I was supposed to ride them all though. And you didn't get hurt worse. No, just ripped my pants open one night. Showed my, everybody my butt. Well, are you just like a little bit embarrassed? No, I really didn't care. You didn't care at all? Not at all. So are you more frustrated that you bucked off a few bulls and got naked in the arena or that you let Jess Lockwood beat you? I'm not really sure how JB feels about Jess Lockwood, but I love giving him a hard time. I mean, he's like 14. I'm pretty sure he's 14. Every squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Jess Lockwood's still a kid. He's 14 and he beat you. You're supposed to be the veteran. Everybody gets lucky once hey, in a while. Hey, are they going to start playing bad boy when he walks in now? It's bad to the bone. Bad to the bone, whatever. Whatever it is, and they're no. going to probably start playing the Frozen song whenever you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> let it go, let it go. Nah, you know how it goes. They're going to start playing Legend. Because we're going to be legends. That's it. You know what they play when I come in? It's Thunderstruck. It's way better than Bad to the Bone. Back to the point at hand, which is... Everybody I knew that's Jess been around Lockwood. you or your friends, they always say when you come in, they play a song, Highway to Hell. No, they don't. Yeah, Jess they do. Lockwood is keeping it... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant J.B. Mooney is keeping it 90. That's what yeah. we're going for yeah. here. I think I just ran a red light. So, now that you've been on a bull, you've went to the world finals, we're going into phase two of your training. Sometimes I've got to explain the different phases of keeping it 90 for JB. All right, your Dale Brisby keeping it 90 training, phase two. You know what it is? Inspiration. We you got you. Inspiration, you never come back. What? Yeah. Listen, just listen to me for one second. Have you ever heard of Jerome Davis? I know Jerome Davis. Okay, well you don't know him as well as I do. No. Me and him were like this. That's me on top. Anyways, we're going to his house right now and he's going to inspire you. Are you ready to be inspired? What do you know about Jerome Davis? everything he's a winner yes winners win we need you to win we're gonna win you know how winners win they get inspired by other winners well considering i know where he lives at the way you're driving the rate you're driving we'll get there tonight me and jerome we're best friends okay by the way tell me when to turn next i will you got a ways Jerome's always been an inspiration to me. All right, JB. This is the Jerome Davis Rodeo Ranch. This is where champions are made. This is where inspiration is born. And I'm a champion at everything I do, okay? That's why I, gosh dang it. All right, that, that was a truck malfunction problem. Don't worry, look, we're gonna get you in here and you're gonna get inspired right after I start this. There we go, on to the next one. All right, get ready to be inspired. 